Hello children, hello, it's me and I'm going to read Little Rocket's Special Star and this is a book that I used to read with my eldest son who's going to be 21 and he absolutely loved it so I hope you enjoy it. So Little Rocket's Special Star and it's by Julie Sykes. Little Rocket and her dad, Big Joe, loved looking up into space. They loved the dark sky and the stars that sparkled high above them. It was nearly Big Joe's birthday and Little Rocket wanted to give him something very special. I know, she said. I'll give Big Joe a shiny star all of his own. Little Rocket waited until Big Joe was busy. Then off she set into space. Up, up, up she flew until high above her, she could see something small and glittering. I found one already, cried Little Rocket. There's my star for Big Joe. But when she got nearer, she found it wasn't a star at all. It was Satellite Sid circling the Earth. What are you doing so far from home, asked Satellite Sid. I'm looking for a star for Big Joe, said Little Rocket. You can't take a star from the sky, Satellite Sid warned her. It will lose all its sparkle. But Little Rocket was so determined to find Big Joe a star that she didn't believe him. You're wrong, she cried, and off she whizzed again. Little Rocket flew higher and higher until suddenly she saw something winking in the darkness. A star, she cried, flying quickly towards it. Only when she got nearer... She saw it was only the sparks from Sammy Shuttle's engines. Hello, little rocket, called Sammy. Do you want to race? No, I don't, said little rocket. I'm looking for a star to give to Big Joe. You can't take a star from the sky, said Sammy. It would leave a hole. Little rocket thought Sammy was mistaken. No, it wouldn't, she cried. There are plenty of stars in the sky. No one will miss one. And before Sammy could argue with her, Little Rocket zoomed on her way. She hadn't gone far before she spotted a tiny flickering light. A star, she cried. But as she flew closer, she found it was only Andy, the astronaut's torch. Where are you going in such a hurry? You nearly knocked me over, called Andy. I'm searching for a star for Big Joe. Little Rocket told him, you're far too small to reach the star, said Andy, laughing. I'm not too small. I've flown to the moon and the stars can't be much further, boasted Little Rocket. And with a whoosh, she flew faster and faster until she reached the moon. On its surface, she could see something glimmering. Is that a star, she wondered. But as Little Rocket flew nearer, she found... That it wasn't a star. It was her best friend, Whizbang, stuck in a crater. Hang on, Whizbang, she called, landing beside him. I'll get you out. Little Rocket tugged and she pushed and she pulled until pop! Whizbang slid free. I've hurt my tail, he wailed. I don't think I can fly. Little Rocket wanted to carry on looking for Big Joe's star, but she knew she couldn't leave poor Whizbang all alone. Don't worry, Whizbang, I'll help you get home safely, she cried. Whizbang hung on tightly to Little Rocket's tail and they were soon safely on their way. They flew past Andy the astronaut and Sammy Shuttle and Satellite Sid. Until at last, they landed with a bump beside Big Joe. Wherever have you been, he asked. What has happened to poor Whizbang? Little Rocket told him about her search for a special star and how she'd rescued Whizbang instead. Well done, Little Rocket. That was kind, said Big Joe. I'm glad you didn't bring me a star. Stars are lovely, but they belong in space where everyone can enjoy them anyway. I already have a star. You do? asked Little Rocket. Yes, said Big Joe. It's you, Little Rocket. You are my special star. And there they are. Maybe you're somebody's special star. I'm sure you are. Would you like to go into space? Maybe you could think about that. 
maybe you could draw your own planet that you could go to with all its exciting things on it. So that's Little Rocket's special star. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.